One of the best fifth wheel toy hauler layouts that fits both the 4C Can Am X3 and the 4C Razor 1000 Pro R. Let's take a look. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the Honey Badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is the Forest River Cherokee Wolfpack 345 fifth wheel toy hauler. And it's an incredible layout. You know there's things I'm gonna find that I don't like, but for the most part overall, if you have a four seat Can Am X3 or four seat Razor 1000 Pro R, this may be one of the better options for you. All right, it does have a 5,500 watt Yamaha generator uh, with fuel station. By the way, if this is the first time you have seen my channel, I take about 15 minutes to walk around the entire fifth wheel, sometimes a little less, go over the entire thing with you. There isn't a bunch of weird jump cuts, editing, uh, sound effects, or special effects. It's a very simple video, so let's get started. Okay, now most folks instantaneously, what's the weight? So let's get into that right now. First off, let's go to the dry weight. And sorry about the shaking. It's 12,940 pounds dry, and total length, if you took a tape measure to it, is 44 feet 7 inches. And it has a gross vehicle weight of 16,975 pounds with two 7,000 pound axles. All right, now it has an outside shower. Let's just real quickly see if this is open. It is. Okay, so you can see it has a decent pass through storage. Not as good as some of the Rogue Armors I've filmed, but by the way, they're built out of the same factory, just so everybody knows. Two propane tanks, black tank flush, outside shower, which I already mentioned earlier. Dual axle, and it is prepped for an auto level system. It doesn't have it on it right now. In fact, it has the electric stabilizers, um, but it is prepped for auto level. Some folks like it, some folks don't. Some folks rather save the money and just have the stabilizers. That's personal preference. It's prepped for a backup camera, two large power awnings that cover almost the whole length of the fifth wheel. So that's kind of nice to have, especially if you have a rainy day going. The other thing I really want you to notice is they went to this tankless on-demand hot water heater. I'm not sold on it yet. A lot of people told me they really like it. I'm just not sold yet. If you have one, let me know what you think in the comments section. Oop, that's locked, but that's an outside kitchen. All right, now, if you look here, all the packages, this actually tells you the prep for the ground control, which is the auto level system. It also has heated and closed underbelly and insulated tanks. So this is the Arctic package that's on this fifth wheel toy hauler. Solid step and walking in. It is breathtaking because the layout is really nice. So you have theater seating going across, all three recline. You do have USB charging stations right here that run on your 12 volt battery. There is solar and an inverter in this coach. And there has to be an inverter because of the fact that it has a residential refrigerator. Now, most of the time, the inverter is dedicated only to the refrigerator. Large pantry, and we can actually turn on lights in here. They actually put lights inside the pantry. So that's a pretty smart move. And you have drawers. Uno, dos, tres. Okay, let's open up the fridge. Oops. As usual, some things are falling out on me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm in a little bit of a sarcastic mood today. Two drawer freezer. So this is something getting very common in the industry. Almost everybody uses this same type of residential refrigerator, which actually is beneficial because it makes it easier from a service and a warranty perspective. Good U-shape uh, counter space. Now, here's what I don't like about Wolfpack, okay? Wolfpack does not make a lot of deep cabinets. So like in this little pantry area, which is a secondary pantry, you could put some canned goods in there. 
but really no pots, no pans. Now, while it's not a, it's a good use of quote unquote space, you know, you, you really gotta kind of be creative of what you're gonna put in here. Maybe a cereal box, instant rice, things like that. I also don't like the size and deepness of each cabinet. Like these, there's no room to put anything but maybe some small bowls or paper plates going upward. Um, I mean, again, that's mostly gonna be food. So here, here's my point. My point I'll make in just a second, okay? Let me open up the adult beverage and pots and pans area. Here's my point. This is really cool for food. So I would have put the pantry name on the cabinets and said, this is where you store all your plates, pots, pans, and utensils. So that's the reality. Yes, this looks pretty, but reality is you're gonna put more of your cookware in that closet area than you are up in these cabinets, okay? Now, if I'm wrong, let me know. But that's how that's how I look at it. Is it a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. But it's just something I'm like, hey, put the pantry name where the pantry belongs, right? All right, one piece sink. Everybody knows I love that. Pasole, uh, chili, uh, tortilla soup. You need big pots. Can't wash a big pot inside a divided sink. They added two drawers down here, which I like. Another small cabinet for, you know, canned goods, dry goods. And then small oven, like a little pizza oven. And you get your three burner stove. Let's get that out of here. Overall, the counter space is very similar to the other Wolfpack floor plans and the Rogue Armored floor plans, which is pretty good. Um, I like the fact that they put little bar stools here because then it feels like, you know, you can have breakfast down here while somebody's cooking. Uh, it feels like you have more seating arrangement. Somebody can sit on the bar stools and watch the TV and the fireplace. So that's good stuff. I like the fact that they put more pantry food space here, maybe linens. So there's not a lot of waste of space in this fifth wheel toy hauler. I just don't like how it was named, right? Okay, so you got your fireplace, place for a TV. It's got two air conditioners. It is pre-wired for Wi-Fi. You got your loft bed up there. And we walk into everybody's favorite part, which is the garage. 14 feet, six inch garage, even with the patio kit. So you have, whoops. So you have the patio kit, the booth dinette and the queen bed. An echo, 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 okay. Another place to put another TV, uh, place to put some hangables, washer, dryer prep, and your half bath. That's not bad, that's actually pretty good. And they, wow, now this I didn't notice. They actually put a medicine cabinet in the half bath. Somebody woke up and decided to get some practicality. Okay. So 14 feet, six inches, you could fit the majority of your four seat side-by-sides in there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk up into the baño. Now this is the worst part of the fifth wheel only because of the way they situate things. Now, the toilet position, perfect. Don't feel like a sardine can, except for that medicine cabinet right there if you're taller, you're gonna have to kind of lean. So like I'm gonna sit here and I'm feeling fine, but if I turn my head, I'm looking at myself. <laughs> uh, decent sized sink, another medicine cabinet and standard one person shower. I mean, it's not horrible. You're not gonna hit your head, but good Lord. <laughs> I mean, I know you're trying to take up some space and give people storage, but whew, good Lord. Okay. Walk around queen bed, lots of clothing storage inside the bedroom, uh, above the bed. Beautiful, oh, slide down. Good hangables, I mean, look at that, it was a cutting board. That goes in the kitchen. Drawers, 
I mean, not bad, guys. I mean, I'm... It's... It's It's not... It's, it's an entry-level fifth-wheel toy hauler. Because you're going to be priced... More than likely, most dealers are going to price this under $75,000. Okay? Most of your nicer, higher-end fifth wheels are going to be... 90 to 100 so this is probably middle of the road okay if you have any questions let me know in the comment section or in the description box below you're gonna see all my contact information through social media a lot of you guys like to send me some dms through messenger instagram etc uh, i also have my company's my dealerships website in there as well and in the top right hand corner of this video you're going to see another really cool garage model fifth wheel toy hauler.